So welcome everyone, Mr. Bob here, and this is my first time doing this sort of news video, but we are going to talk about Tekken 8, and of course the roadmap to it, and of course we do have a showcase for Eddie Gordo. I'll leave that video at the very end, but for right now we're going to talk about a little bit of news of what Tekken 8 has to offer us for the future of the game itself. So that's what we're going to do today, just very quick on what is important. And of course, there's a lot of stuff that has been showed off, but just remember there is a roadmap for Tekken 8. So the first bit is going to be that we do have a post release for season one, which is going to be Eddie. They still have not confirmed a release date, but as you all know, Eddie is going to be the very first character coming out. And of course, right here, as you can see, we have three updates. For right now, we have the February and March update. We also have the April and later on, we're going to have uh, May. So not sure they're going to be consistent ongoing when it comes to updates every month but it looks like for right now we are going to get a couple of updates along the way for Tekken 8. And right here this will be the second update right here for February and March and of course we have our in-game collaboration first and they're also going to talk about the Tekken shop and of course uh, little adjustments and balances that they're going to do for the game once that update comes out a little bit later in March. As you can see, we have the first collaboration, which is UT, and we do have some uh, Tekken shirts that you can buy as well. But of course, you do have to get to the official website in order for that to happen. But there's also going to be an in-game collaboration where you can basically get some of these t-shirts on your character. As you can see here, you could get two t-shirts for characters and one t-shirt for your avatar. Once again, all of this is going to be free. Well, except for the real shirts, of course, you have to go to the website to buy them. But for this in-game collaboration, it's going to be free. So anybody has a chance to get any of these uh, t-shirts by, of course, getting them from the Tekken shop. And of course, they're just showing you right here from the Tekken lounge, you know, from their in-game collaboration, how everything's going to look. So if you're in the Tekken lounge, you could go to the little marketplace or the little shop area where they sell the clothes. And you can see that they do have an in-game collaboration happening for the t-shirt. Now, the next one is going to be a little bit more interesting. As we all know, we do have the Tekken shop. So it's going to be a new feature added. And basically, it allows you to get free content and paid content as well. So once again, new items are added to the Tekken shop once or twice a month. So we'll see how things go for DLC on the Tekken shop. Because as we all know, it is pretty expensive when it comes to newer modern games that they do cost a lot. But of course, as you can see right here, this is how the shop would look like. You got your in-game collaboration. And of course, you do have the DLC or legacy costumes or whatever other else they're going to add, like the effects like that you use to use for your avatars, like emotes. You're going to have that option. So again, here's how the t-shirts will look for your avatar. And so they do show a little bit on, of course, the character models as well, wearing the shirts, as we all know from the in-game collaboration. And of course, right here, as you can see, we do have four new legacy costumes. As we all know, we got Jin with his Tekken 4 costume. So most likely you can change the colors and everything, but it's going to cost 400 Tekken coins. Of course, I'm not sure how much that will be because I don't really remember how much currency or how much money it was for the previous Tekken games. But again, since they're bringing legacy costumes, as you can see here, we do have June from Tekken Tag 2. Uh, it's only going to cost 400 Tekken coins. So I think people are already speculating on how much it will be. But once again, uh, legacy costumes are coming back. But unfortunately, they're not going to be free. You do have to pay for them. So we do have right here Kazuya with his Tekken Force outfit, technically. Or I, I still think it's a Tekken Force outfit because that's why I mostly remember him by in Tekken 4, of course, with his outfit. And then we also have Ling Xiaoyu's dress from Tekken 4. So we'll see in the future if they are going to keep this sort of, you know, little category i guess when it comes to legacy costumes they're going to do tekken 4 or maybe tekken 6 tekken 2 tekken 3 it really depends but for right now we're just going to have four legacy costumes 
And for the rest, as you can see here, it's mostly going to be avatar costumes. So if you like your avatars, like as you can see here for Reyna, pretty simple. You could have this for your character as well for your end game avatar. And there are going to be some other little party effects that you can do when you're doing emotes in the Tekken lounge or you just want to celebrate and just, you know, throw some fireworks. <laughs> That's basically it. But of course, now we do have the Tekken shop, as we all know that it is going to have microtransactions. So there are free items and paid items. But of course, you cannot cross your items to other platforms. They do talk about it, which is very unfortunate. So you cannot, let's say you buy a costume on PC, but then you buy the game on PlayStation 5. Well, unfortunately, you cannot transfer whatever you bought from PC to PlayStation. And the same thing with Xbox. You have it on Xbox, but you're trying to do it on PC. They do not cross platform with each other with whatever in-game purchases you did. So it's very unfortunate with that. I wish it would be a little bit more better because I know Mortal Kombat 1 does that where if you do all the content on PC, it also transfers to the other platform. But unfortunately for Tekken 8, uh, this is not a possibility. So right here, we do have another update that is coming on April, like I said, uh, the third update. And then after that, we do have continue update. And just real quick, uh, right here, we do have some merchandise. And of course, not really important, but hey, if you miss out on some of the merchandise, they do have the album set and the vinyl sets that you could buy. Uh, they are available to pre-order right now. Of course, you do have the Tekken series original soundtracks starting on February 26th or so a couple more days. And they're going to be like in like, you know, Spotify or any sort of streaming uh, music service. They are going to be available for you to tune out to any Tekken music that you like from the previous Tekken games. And of course, we do have the poster. These are the 1000 limited posters, which is Kazuya and Jin. And they do have their special lighting effects when they shine the light in these metal plates. But you also have one for Tekken 7, as well as for Tekken 3. And of course, the cover art for Tekken 3. So there are going to be in pre-order for the meantime, but for the 1000 limited one for Devil, I mean for Jin and Kazuya, those are 1000 copies. So if you do want to pre-order them, you got to make sure that you have <laughs> the time to do that. But you could get these uh, metal plate from the website, so make sure you go check them out. And of course, another collaboration we have, which is going to be uh, basically close. So right now we just have three clothes right here from, I don't really recall what's the name of this brand, but hey, if you do like the style, do like the clothes, they do have pre-orders ready for you so you could try and try to pre-order them whenever you can. And then for the final clothing, we got the Edwin clothing. So you're able to get the Tekken jacket right here. So they had different patches of some of the characters. And again, it's a jean jacket, but you also get the uh, pants as well and the pants do have some uh, the chains from Jin. it will be in the back pockets but again you can get the jacket and the pants as well and once again it's going to be up for pre-order so you want to check those out just remember uh, pre-order closes on february the 27th and then for figures uh, we do have the tekken 8 figure arts as we all know they have talked about this so they are in pre-order right now so you want to get of course Jin and Kazuria. They are ready for pre-order. And then as well, we do have an Android, which is Ling Xiao Yu. So yes, you could get the first ever Android, which is Ling Xiao Yu for Tekken 8. So we'll see how things go. Maybe in the further future, we might get more characters. But for right now, we have Ling Xiao Yu from Tekken 8 as an Android. So as you can see for the third update, they're mostly going to talk about the Tekken World Tour, which is going to be started. And of course, more adjustments and more added features are going to add for the April update. The Tekken World Tour is going to start around April 13th. So that's where it's going to start. But once again, if you want more information, just go to the website. They'll have more information about the whole entire structure of Tekken World Tour.
So the devs were able to get some comments when it comes to Tekken 8, and they're thinking about bringing Ghost versus Ghost Battle. So you guys, you could download two different Ghosts and they could fight each other out. Too bad they didn't have this in the very beginning, the launch date of the game, but they are considering bringing that as a feature so that, hey, you can have some fun uh, to have different people's Ghosts and just fight each other out. So we'll see how that goes for the further future for Tekken 8. As well, they are thinking about adding a photo mode to Tekken 8, just like how they did it like in Street Fighter and the same thing like in Guilty Gear Strive. So they are planning, hopefully in the future, they will bring a photo mode so that you can enjoy some of your customization. Because that's what they talk about a lot is that they do enjoy seeing other people's customizations on some of the characters. So they're bringing in, hopefully in the future, a photo mode so you can have some fun with taking screenshots of your customization character. So they also talk about bringing more story or post story on Tekken 8. Because unfortunately for Tekken 7, once the story mode was done, it was basically done. But going into Tekken 8, it looks like they might bring post story after the story mode. As you all know, you have not finished it. I think that's what they're planning to do. But we'll see how things go. If they are going to do it for all the characters or just what's happening to the events after Tekken 8.
So as you heard, they are planning to bring this sort of ban system tool, hopefully in the future. Uh, hopefully sooner, not too long, but once again, they are dealing with their own stuff when it comes to banning people from certain countries. But they have seen it, they have heard from the community and just the people around playing Tekken 8 that there are people like that who pug in the whole entire match or they just do it consistently and that's not very fun especially when you're online and we've seen it a lot especially on facebook and twitter where people have a very good win streak and all of a sudden someone decides to unplug the connection and once that happens your win streak is gone so yeah it's very unfortunate that something like that will happen especially if you're just having a normal match and someone does that consistently it's not that very fun but it is confirmed they are working on it, but we'll see in the further future when it will come out to make sure things are a little bit more smoother for online play. So as you heard, they are talking about bringing uh, different modes for online play because with the tournament mode on Tekken 7 wasn't very successful. It looks like it wasn't doing too good. But now for Tekken 8, they are thinking about bringing more different modes for online play because, of course, we only have rank and quick match for online. Of course, there's Tekken Ball, but they're thinking about bringing more different modes for Tekken 8. So like a 3v3 system, a 5v5 system, or maybe hopefully, I'm just thinking this right now, is maybe they can make a boss rage. You know, just like how they did it with Dragon Ball Fighters, where you have to battle like the weak opponents until you get like eight matches in, I think, the very the last match. This could be a boss, but the boss is super powerful. You know, they could do something like that. But again, if you want them to do it, you have to let them know on Twitter. Uh, suggest you know what kind of different modes they should bring for the online play for Tekken 8. So right now as you can see this is the showcase for Edigoro right now and of course it's just showing you a little bit of the artwork of uh, what they're showing and yes Eddie will be in the main menu screen just like how Kazuri is. Hopefully in the future they can change this for all the characters like maybe your favorite character you could just put it right there in the main screen that would be pretty awesome but we'll see if they do change it or not. But as well, we're going to go into the character selection screen right there. So you can see it will be right next to Claudio. And of course, we do have some costumes and we do have the second default costume. We also have the brand new, I guess, alternative costume for Eddie, which is, I really like it. I really like it very much. Uh, but I, we could change like some of the colors, have more different color varieties for that costume. And of course, we do have the Tekken 7 costume for eddie gordo and of course he does keep his hair from tekken 7 so you could play that around because i know a lot of people have things to talk about with the hair for the new design but at the end they look amazing eddie looks great even with the tekken 7 costume i mean they just really did a good job with him so the first thing they're going to talk about is the new buff icon which most characters will have as you can see here eddie has one right next to the heat mode or the heat gauge as well as for Claudio and many of the other characters that have their sort of buff to them to, you know, do more damage or have more extra moves in their arsenal. But that's the first thing they talk about, just to show you that Eddie does have this buff mechanic. They also have said that this new capoeira for Eddie Gordo is reamp. So he has all new stuff for Eddie right here for Tekken 8. So they have revamped it from the ground up. So you're going to see a lot more different stuff when it comes to Eddie Gordo with his sort of moves in Tekken 8. So they talk about real quick, a very nice story talking about a development member called Sasamori. And he has been the one that has been doing the motion capture for Eddie Gordo. So ever since the first time he has seen Eddie doing the Capoeira style, he has been doing it for over 16 years. So... That's pretty awesome to hear that because, man, can you imagine to be 
doing the style of one of your favorite characters or one character that you really like the most from a fighting game, and now you're doing the motion capture for them. So that's pretty awesome to hear that from the development team, just giving Sasamori the, you know, just the recognition of him giving the opportunity to give us the style for the new re Caparera on Eddie Gordo. So right here, they talk about Eddie's new relaxed stance. As you can see there, he goes to the ground. And it's a, you are able to avoid uh, certain attacks, of course, for a lot of us out there that play different characters. You mostly always have to duck low or crouch. But here for Eddie, he could avoid attacks by going to the stance. And of course, it will allow you to get into other moves along the way. So you could move forward or move back, depending on your situation, so that you could open up your attacks and get your damage out for certain combinations. They also said that now Eddie is going to be a little bit more accessible for newcomers to Tekken 8. Because, of course, um, previously, mostly Eddie is always everywhere with his kicks and everything. But even with the new re moves, now they made it more accessible for anybody who wants to pick up Eddie. It's going to be much easier than before. So, yes, it's basically we're still going to have kind of like that same Eddie, just like before. But once again, they're just trying to make it more easier for anybody out there who wants to pick up Eddie. Just have a much more easier time. So right here, we have Eddie's new uh, move, which is called the Mazenga, which allows you to get a buff out of yourself and you're able to access more priorities to your move. But of course, you can only get this by doing a clean hit. So you're going to be doing that a lot if you do want to get those buffs. But just like in Street Fighter 6, where Jamie, where you keep on drinking his drinks, you're able to get more priorities out of your moves. So it's kind of the same thing right here with Eddie. But of course, you got to make sure you do a clean hit to activate that buff. But as you start one, you are going to get, again, more options or more moves out of your kicks. So once again, you want to increase that more, then you most likely have to level it up. But of course, the max is going to be at level 2. So once you're at level 2, you can see you do have the blue aura going around his feet. And now the adder do a little bit more damage. And sometimes can lead you right there to a knockdown or different priorities. We'll just have to see once we get the full release of this character, like how much of this sort of buff can really tell the difference. Uh, should I have more or should I have less? Or should I have everything, like how much uh, the Mazenga can really prioritize the buffs for Eddie's new uh, style here in Tekken 8. So again, that's the whole entire showcase for Eddie. It's pretty simple. And of course, I'm not going to go in depth with every single little thing that Eddie has to show us. But once the full release of Eddie comes out, I think that's where people can see his full potential. But of course, it's very accessible, guys, with his new Mazenga buff and of course getting more priorities out of his moves and as well more easier for a lot of new people that want to try him out it's going to be easy for them to get into eddie so i'm really looking forward to that i'm really looking forward to playing eddie but we'll see how things go once he's fully released because we still do not have a full release date on him so i have a feeling he might come out between maybe march around there but we'll see hopefully in the future and as well, you do have finally a quit button for the Steam version of the game because unfortunately, the only way to quit out of the game is that then you have to go to an option menu and quit from there, which is very unfortunate. But here in the main menu screen, you do have a quit button to quit the game. And of course, finally, you do have a 72 hour early access if you do have the deluxe or the ultimate edition for the character one year pass so if you do have that you'll be able to play eddie a lot more earlier than everyone else so the, for the next tekken talk is going to be on late march for the next announcement so mark that in your calendar if you want to but we hope for the best depending on when it's going to be the right time to watch this because of course it was very very early in the morning to watch this tekken talk live but once again it's going to be here on late March. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's a whole entire Tekken talk that they talked to us about. A lot of news. We got Eddie. And we're just waiting for a release date on him. And hopefully we'll see what new stuff will be brought to the Tekken shop. 
but as well more announcements to come for Tekken 8. And as always, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Tekken 8 content. And as well, give this video a like if you do really enjoy this sort of news video, which I've never really done. But if you want to see more, let me know uh, down in the comments below and give this video a like. And as always, keep on playing and getting for life, guys. See you later.